Welcome back to the Middle Earth Shadow of War Desolation of Mordor Walkthrough Part 1 or the Gravewalker Difficulty Walkthrough Part 15, whichever you prefer. Either way, we're going to get to play as Baranor and kick some more ass, and I am very much looking forward to this expansion. Baranor's got a lot of uh, new tricks up his sleeve, literally, uh, and it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to play. Before we get into the episode, I have two questions for all of the people watching. Uh, please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Uh, first one is, what game would you guys be interested in having me do a walkthrough of next? I'm thinking about Code Vein or Vampire, or maybe both. Um, you know, if, if either of those are of interest to you, uh, or there are other games that you'd like me to take a look at, please let me know. Uh, the other thing, too, is... Next month, we should be expecting a patch, which is going to revamp Shadow of War pretty significantly. They're removing the ability to get new orc uh, war chests, so you won't be able to deploy orcs how I did in the uh, earlier episodes. Um, and it should focus more on the Nemesis system and going out and recruiting orcs in the field and adding them to your army. So that might be a little bit more interesting. Um, so, and, and it'll change the way that the game feels and plays, and I think for the better. So, let me know if you'd be interested in having me do a follow-up Gravewalker difficulty walkthrough for the entire game, other than the two um, expansions, because the two DLCs, I think, won't really be affected by that. But for the main game, I can do an updated walkthrough once that releases. So let me know if that's something that you'd like to see. Okay, we'll move on with the episode. For mercenaries. We have no hope of taking the fortress without them. If we make it far enough to hire them with those things out there. These bones! This place has swallowed things larger than us! They'll kill us all! Run! Get off the sand! It's all sand! <laughs> Keep calm! Keep moving! Where? Ah, anyone that is inside! I was hoping it wasn't a corpse I was dragging home. A bit, a bit weird, that, eh? <laughs> My man, <coughs> what happened? I'm sorry, lad. They weren't as lucky as you. Thank you for saving me. Oh, don't thank me. Uh, thank this. <clears throat> that little darling's a bit twitchy, but she should get you up to my camp, no trouble. I've uh, got a newer one myself. Worked out all the hitches. Hitches? Word of advice about the claim. If you don't like heights, don't look down. And if you don't like dwarf asses, don't look up. This device, you built it? You don't need to flatter me, lad. I already snatched you from the nasties. No, what you got there's Numenorian. Loads of their contrivances scattered around from way back. 
Very useful. Trick is, grabbing it without the worms grabbing you. I found a few promising sites. Got them all sketched out. You bring what you buy back to me, I'll tinker till it does what it used to. Or does something anyway. Then you can field test it. Make sure it's safe. Sound good? More than fair. the most convenient spot if you're moving in furniture. But on the plus side, worms don't like heights. So, what are you doing so far from Gondor? Looking for the Vanishing Sons. They're a mercenary company. Yes. I hired a few of them to look for Numenorian bits. Now I owe their leader a few... <clears throat> mercenaries. I've got just the thing to get you to where they are. Just don't tell them where I am. What do I do? Just run off the edge of the cliff. Run off the edge of the cliff? And here. These are the places to poke around for more Numenorian goodies. Go on then. I've used this thing myself. Not a bump or a scratch. Come on, lad. Here, I'll help you. One, two, three. All right, how about we try it the other way? Three, two, one. Ready, and go! And go! Look, don't do this the wrong way, but I'd like for you to go now. Good to see Torben back again. Just have to not think about it, is all. All right, this this is whoa. Right, getting the hang of it. My name is Baranor. I am second captain of the Gondorian Guard at Minas Ethel. Minas Ethel has fallen some time ago, I believe. I am seeking soldiers. Well, it's difficult to be a captain without them. Lucky for you, I've got the finest warriors in all of Middle Earth. <laughs> Do you carry coin of any kind? Some. Some. You're going to need a lot more than some. <laughs> What are your plans for the Wraith? I assume you're not planning to retake Minas Ethel. I'm planning to take Shindrum. The fortress? No, 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 no. <laughs> that sounds like the work for heroes. All I can offer you are mercenaries. Look, why don't you come back when you have some more money? 
or sense what art? How do you know that name? You haven't changed! I remember a boy of seven, small for his age, so he had a lot to prove. And one day he decided that he was going to explore the caves of Umbar, but he got himself into a little bit of trouble. Lucky for him, he had a brother, a beautiful, courageous older brother who was sent to look for him. And by the time that champion reached him, he was moments away from being devoured by Caragors. <laughs> Caragors? Jagai! No, 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 little brother. I... I am Serka now. Serka, the unkillable. Serka, the insufferable. Serka, the survivor. But I still bear some scars from my former life. How did you come to be here? Among these Easterlings? Same old story. A village is raided, homes are looted, mothers and fathers are slaughtered, screaming tears. Orcs. Mercenaries. How is it? I should be thankful, though, of course, eh? Not every boy gets the chance to be raised among such a merry band of killers and thieves! <laughs> but you lead them. Yeah, only until I get a knife in my back. And believe me, that is how all leaders end up. But enough history. Blood only goes so far. You and I, we have business to transact. All of the other guys have weaknesses that uh, looks like could be problematic from time to time, so we'll go with this guy. So very heavy death penalty here. We we'll want to make sure that Baranor does not die. If I'm going to take that fortress, I better start with something smaller. Let's see about those outposts. Before we move on with the next story mission quest, what I recommend you do is pick up all of the Numenorean artifacts and get all of the upgrades from Torvin first, just to make the rest of the quests easier, and you'll pick up some coin too, so you can hire more mercenaries and whatnot. So the first one we're grabbing here, and you can see it's that uh, blue icon on the ground that I hadn't picked up yet. Um, it's this one, Cyclone. And if you click in, you can see a map of where it should be located. So you can see um, it's pretty much where I'm standing now, uh, where the enlarged picture is, is pointing to. The 
the Numenorians possessed wisdom far superior to any we have today. Shame that in the end it wasn't enough to save them. But it does fascinate me how they created a device to aid in climbing, and later upgraded it to knock loads of people down. If it were me, I'd have done it the other way round. Now that we have the Numenorian artifact, we'll go back up to Torvin and get the upgrade. And conveniently, there is a fast travel point near uh, to Torvin. Stormed up to the keep and kicked down the door, killed twenty Yorks and wounded six more, and her name was Narlan Axharlar. Ah, what did you find? That ought to fix you, right? Now, Torvin's Perch is actually really handy as a lookout spot um, for you to find the rest of the Numenorean artifacts. All you really have to do is look for objects that resemble the ones in the pictures. So you can see there's a bridge across uh, two of the towers, so we'll look for a spot that looks just like that and then head over. Oh, look at that. It's right over there. It's an age-old quandary in battle. How'd you close the distance to your enemy? Well, the Numenorians, true to form, solved this problem with a novel approach. Instead of making your way to your opponent, bring him to you, and then smack him. Goes without saying. These were either brilliant or diabolical. And actually, it needn't be one or the other. Let's see what you have. Outdone myself this time, if I'm honest. Next up, catapult. You should recognize that from the beginning of the stage. Right down there. The Numenorean set their minds to making a man fly. But when they figured out a device that could do it, they decided they weren't impressed enough with themselves, so they set about improving on it. 
How could a people who soar like birds fall so far that there's hardly any trace of them left? I can't wait to see what the Dwarf does with this. Or maybe I can. Don't do it, Torvan lad. Tempting as it is, don't drop your chamber bucket on the orcs down there. You'll just bring them up here. Ah! What did you find? Don't let that fall into the wrong hands! Next up is Numenorean Fire, and this one's a little bit tricky to find. Because it is hidden underneath that ledge. So you have to find a place that has an overhang and a tower underneath it with a ledge. which actually happens to be down there. The soldiers of this ancient empire wielded the mightiest blades, the most powerful bows. But, as in most things, they weren't satisfied there. They devised clever ways to burn their enemies, to terrify and sow chaos among them. Any craftsman pours his strength and wit into his creations. To that, the Numenorians added madness. Oh, and fire. I can't imagine what function this device could possibly have, but I... Suppose that's part of the fun. Sometimes I think I should kill the fellow who suggested I come out to the desert. But since it was me, probably not a great idea. Oh, found something, have you? That's sure to get you in and out of trouble. Next up, we will grab Mighty Shield. This one is also a little bit tricky to find. The Numenorians' new defense meant more than cowering behind some bullock. 
While the enemy's trying to wear your strength down, you've got to build it up. No idea how this works. It's to do with the uh, storing and unleashing energy or something. Just mind you stay on the right side of it. This technology is fascinating. If I knew what it did, I'm sure I'd be horrified. Go for me. The hat ought to fix you, right? Going to get some more firewood soon. One of these nights, those mercenaries are going to catch me chopping down their tree. Next up, Blazing Shield, and this one is way out. Have you seen some place that looks like that yet? Nope, didn't think so. Start out by heading towards the keep. And that down there is what we're looking for. So we just came from Torvin, up past the keep, way out here to the uh, northeast. When the Numenorean's doom finally came, their fires were soon extinguished. Something to do with a flood, I believe. Well, I don't see any water out here. So let's see how hot we can make this thing burn. The idea with this is it incinerates your enemies at the same time you're knocking them back. My kind of idea. Reckon I should take this to Torvin and put my faith in him. After all, this work lets me leap off cliffs. Hmm. When you say that out loud. Umakil, the great white Graug. You were good sport, lads, but you're no but weak mice compared to what old Torvan's hunting out here. Oh! All right, give it over! That'll tilt the odds in your favor! Finish off the last of the shield abilities next with Fatal Counter, which is over by the keep. Could have done with fewer short jokes, though.
Countering enemies is great. What's even better is stopping them dead. And I do mean dead. The Numenorians knew that by using your opponent's momentum against him, you turn his opening strike into your killing blow. This thing looks like it could be a real lifesaver. Or life taker. I honestly have no idea. You don't love these worms. Ah! Find something? See what mischief you can make with that. Next up, chain kill. We are looking for an arena. And the arena happens to be way out here. Just as important as strength are stealth and speed. If you're invisible, there's no defense. If you're silent, there's no call for help. Reckon no one mastered us better than the Numenorians. No one's seen or heard them in ages. Torben should be able to use this to make my gear more deadly. Whether to me or the orcs, remains to be seen. Sometimes I think I should kill the fellow who suggested I come out to the desert. But since it was me, probably not a great idea. Oh! All right, give it over! That'll be a laugh, I'm sure! And the final Numenorian artifact is Worm Rot Oils. Now, this one looks like the mercenary camp, but it's actually not. I should get rid of those potatoes. They're hard as rocks. Instead, it is down there. Did I just hear something? Handle this bit of kit carefully. Enemies who stood against Numenorian weapons didn't stand for long. And the ones who survived the first cut quickly came to wish they hadn't. Poison tends to bring that out in people. That and their guts as they puke themselves to death. Look! I suppose I should get this back to Torben. See what new torments he can inflict on me with it. You pass now! You flee! A good blow! Fine! Uh. 
If Sargar ever finds me up here, he'll pitch me over the side. Aha! Let's see what you have. Outdone myself this time, if I'm honest. That's all of them. Next thing that we'll probably want to do is get a little bit of XP to get a few skill points to open up um, some of the other skills. The easiest way to do that is to find um, some of the Nemesis missions where one captain is going to kill another and just let him do it. Okay, so we'll do it again with a checkpoint raid. Guess I didn't need to do all of that. own a place. <laughs> Who's ready to reclaim this road? To make it a little bit safer, you'll probably want to get your uh, other two honor guards first before continuing on, continuing on with the story mission, and then you'll buy two more mercenaries, uh, and then we'll keep moving. So for our next mission, it's a duel, and Muzu Ugly Face is back.
If you're lucky, I'll just give you a scar and let you live. But you've never been lucky, have you? You got a lot of nerve, I'll give you that. Too bad nerve just gets you into fights. It don't get you out of them. Muzu wins again. This guy is brutal. And that is both of our bodyguard slots. You can go ahead and get more skill points for the capacity upgrades down below, but you might as well continue on with the story quest. Uh, now, another little Easter egg, uh, which I've come across a couple of times, is this corpse here. He has a legendary upgrade or augment. And this is right at the top of the uh, keep tower. So I thought I'd just toss that in to let you know that he's up here sometimes with really good loot. Another spot where you can find some reasonably decent loot sometimes is right over here. And there's another good loot spot over here. And another legendary gear drop over here. And we have another legendary uh, corpse over here. Do you think an orphan could ride a werewolf? Sure, inside its blasted belly. Now that we've geared up a little bit and gotten some more coin, let's recruit some more mercenaries. Thank <laughs> you. 
those three should be good enough for now, so uh, we'll continue on with the next quest. Get back into the story content now with the raid. Tell me, brother, what do you see? Orcs, wagons, more orcs. Do you know what I see? Coin, fortune, and enough danger to make it fun. It seems you have better eyes than I do. It looks too, but who's keeping track? I suppose this coin you speak of is in those wagons, those surrounded by guards. Soon to be dead guards. No survivors. The Overlord can't know that this is us. After all, he is paying us to keep these deliveries safe. You're working for the Orcs? <sighs> Look, in this line of work, I can't choose where my coin comes from. Besides, if you're thinking about taking over that fortress, you're going to need my men. And if you need men, you need coin. Help me, brother. I'll give you a family discount. How generous. Keep an eye out for wereworms. They're drawn to grog. More of the same. More loot from the city. supplies come through this canyon. It's worth a lot of coin. This is all Gondorian coin. And now, it's Easterling coin. Let's get these wagons back to the oasis. Today, we get paid. These caravans have to stop. You and your boys need to get all this grog cleaned up before any wereworms show up. And don't spill any more, or you'll bring the rumbler here. The rumbler? Sounds like just what I need. It's time to spill some grog. Sounds What have you done? 
cut off the enemy's supply line. That was also my supply line! I need to keep the coin flowing. Do you see those men back there? Those are not soldiers. Their loyalty is bought, and when they stop getting paid, their blades are no longer under my control. These are Marauder Orcs. When we take their fortress, you'll get half their fortune, and I'll use the other half to pay you and your men for whatever comes next. All right. You know, coin is one thing. That fortress is another. Oh, I hope you've got a great plan. <laughs> Do you think the rooks sweat? Why? Next quest is Infiltration. If you're serious about taking this fort, and getting me my coin, we'll need to find out what we're up against. And we'll need to be discreet. I wouldn't want to ruin your reputation among the Orcs. So with Mark dead, that makes Gimoop the new war chief. What is it? Ah, oh, Baruch. How am I supposed to keep this straight? Make a correct. Shows his war chiefs well. He's called Takra, the Sand Spider. He encourages competition within his ranks. A bloody business, but it does weed out the weak. Oh, who knows where it used to get it? That is crazy. How do you work with these beasts? Oh, they're not much different from mercenaries. They like to drink, to sing, and to kill. I survived, didn't I? I lived long enough to meet you again. That's better than most. How have you survived among the Easterlings? By letting Chagai die. By becoming Serka. Chagai was weak. Afraid. He could be hurt, killed. Serka cannot. We'll have to take this fortress before I run out of coin. Mercenaries are loyal only as long as you can pay them. They'll get their money. We're almost done. But I'm not leaving here empty-handed. I think I saw some gold back there. Finish up so we can leave. Time to leave. Get him! Up there! He's up there! The Overlord may be a drunk, but he's my drunk! Overlord! from home, you can 
can stay if you want. We got a nice trough out back for your kind. <laughs> We left, little brother. Or do you want to try and get us killed? Don't believe. <laughs> now we know what we're dealing with. I've seen two kinds of mercenary, brother. One of them fights for gold, and the other seeks death in whatever way he can find it. I'm starting to think you're the second kind. There's no turning back now. No, it's hard being the happy-go-lucky type. And the next quest up is the circus. Helpful tip, do not dismiss your mercenaries before fighting the guy at the end. The Orcs were bound to retaliate after our infiltration of their fortress. The only question is how hard they've struck back. Welcome, sir. Would you like to hire more of my mercenaries? Where is Circa? I am Zoja, and the Vanishing Sons have chosen a new leader. Prices may have gone up since. Where you... is my brother? Your brother! <laughs> You see, I had a brother once. His name was Serka. And then a stranger came and he started to forget who his family was, his real family. Men who followed him, fled with him. He started to think he could work against us, against our patrons. No need for that. I gave him to a very fine fellow by the name of Bujak. He runs a fight pit called the Circus. Very entertaining. All sorts of warriors and beasts. You wouldn't think a man could get torn apart in so many ways. I will be back. Make sure you bring plenty of coin. There'll be no more family discounts around here, my friend. Amaze you. We should let these 
beast joining the fight. I hate to say this, but I think I agree with you. Join our circus, but none last long. Death thy blade, or fang, or bone. We all blade together. to deal with Zoshan. Oh, yeah. I told that stinking overlord that the vanishing sons will be at his service, loyal as ever. Sarka, wait! Sarka has returned! <laughs> Sarka the Unkillable, Sarka the Insufferable, Sarka the Destroyer! But if any of you would like to return to my good graces, Sarka the Merciful asks only one thing. Take this piece of filth! Throw please. him to the worms! Please, please! No, 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 no! no! <laughs> you think he's going to protect you? You're dead! You're all dead! <laughs> And that is how you lead mercenaries, little brother. As long as they're ready for what comes next. Next task will be to take all of the outposts, but I think we'll end this episode here and pick that up in the next one.